Cells, as they get older, they stop proliferating, and this is called replicative senescence. One way that lungs of older people that are undergoing senescence differ is it appears that there are upper regulation of senescence markers, two of which are uh, CD26 and also ACE2, both of which are actually markers uh, that define the host receptor for the COVID-19 virus. So that suggests that the COVID-19 virus is actually uh, built to target senescent cells. The way that this could be linked to the fatalities in older patients is that older patients would have more senescent cells and they would have, these cells would have more host receptors, so they would be more susceptible to viral infection. The obvious treatment strategy would be if it's targeting uh, senescent cells is to remove the senescent cells. And that's where senolytics come in. They act to target and remove senescent cells. So then the virus would not have the cells with the host receptor to infect and replicate. And such drugs include uh, the antibiotic uh, azithromycin, which selectively targets and removes 97% of senescent cells. This is uh, experiments that we have shown and published Using antibiotics that are inhibitors of protein synthesis, like azithromycin or uh, doxycycline or rapamycin, they would all be potential therapeutics, both for patients with symptomatic disease as well as uh, prophylaxis, because they inhibit viral replication, they inhibit inflammation by blocking the synthesis of the inflammatory cytokines like IL-6, and they also inhibit uh, protein synthesis of collagen, which in, induces the fibrosis, which is what's killing the patients ultimately. You can uh, take FDA approved drugs and repurpose them for another use, and you can save a lot of money and accelerate uh, clinical trials by 10 to 15 years so that you can get this to patients sooner. So I would encourage people to do the clinical trials related to azithromycin, doxycycline, and rapamycin in the context of COVID-19. I'd be happy to partner with the relevant clinicians and virologists to do that.